so we've looked at a whole variety of stuff at the moment concerning the Gospels. Now we're just going to consider some of the difficulties that you might have when you read the Gospels. Sometimes we, we, we read the Gospels and we immediately feel that there are some difficulties. So let's just consider what those might be and how to answer them. Um, some of the difficulties are concerning the uh, chronology. Um, we have biographical narratives. Each of the Gospels follow the same basic timeline. Each begins with Jesus' birth, then moves to his death, and finally to his resurrection. But they often list other events in Jesus' life in different orders. The reason is that the Gospels sometimes group events according to priorities that were quite acceptable in the first century, but not might, might not meet our modern expectations. Rather than follow the strictly chronological priorities, the Gospels sometimes order their episodes according to themes of geography. For example, Mark told the story of Jesus being rejected in his hometown, Mark 6.16, but Luke placed it sooner in the narrative, Luke 4.14.30. Um, a second type of difference is the omission of material in one or more Gospels. For example, John does not mention the institution of the Lord's Supper in his Gospel. Omissions like this can be explained in a number of ways. They may simply result in the different writers' emphasis, or they may also result in later gospel writers not feeling the need to represent portions of what appeared in the books of earlier gospel writers. Whatever the case, the omissions do not imply disagreement or contradiction between the gospel writers. A third common type of apparent difficulty results from, simil results from similarities between different events that occurred in Jesus' ministry. That is to say, at times, two Gospels seem to describe the same event in different ways, but they may actually be describing two similar but different events. It's important to remember that Jesus was an itinerant preacher. That is, he moved around from place to place. He also performed many of the same types of miracles in different places, healing many who were blind or lame. Of course, Jesus answered many of the same questions and challenged over and over again. So, I think that that's a help just to get your mind round um, get get your mind up. there are these difficulties but they can be worked through so don't be discouraged okay um, make sure you read good commentaries uh, when you're doing Bible studies or thinking about the Gospels uh, when you meet some difficulties in the Gospels okay and you can work them through John MacArthur's study Bible is a good place to start.